First off, tell me your name. Um, Lauren Shields. All right, Lauren, congratulations. You are the uh, coach of the Rome Floyd 10 and under all-star basketball team, correct? Yes, sir. Um, tell me a little bit about um, what got you into coaching rec league basketball. Okay, well, actually, I volunteered last year because they, the model district was in need of a 10 and under coach. So it was kind of one of those where there was someone who needed to be there, so I just kind of volunteered and just filled that position. Um, how tough is it to coach rec league? Obviously, you don't get paid. It's all volunteer. You deal with not only the kids, the other kids, but the parents. Right. Well, it's it's different, I would say. I also volunteer and help with the middle school for model. So it's just a little bit different, but, I mean, I really enjoy it. The kids are great. The parents are great, too. But, you know, everybody can be a hassle at sometimes. And then during the season, um, tell me about your, your team first. Okay. Well, my 10 and under team, I coached the model district, and we were the Devil Cats, and we actually got second place, you know, out of the um, the whole the whole um, group of the other 10, you know, the other 10 and under teams. And actually, I had two girls from my um, team make the all-star team, and I'll just say, you know, my team was really young. I had a couple, you know, nine-year-olds, and I had maybe just a handful of 10-year-olds that played on my team last year. So last year we didn't do so well in the tournament, and this year we actually took second place, so we were, we were pretty excited about that. What have you had to learn about coaching? Well, through this experience, I would say that I've learned, you know, you have to deal with different kids, and different kids learn different ways. So when you coach, you can't always assume that every person's going to get it the first time you teach it. You have to learn how you can different, teach different things in different ways so all of your players can grasp the same concept. And then how did the All-Star team work? How did you get selected to coach that? Okay, well, Larry Powell, he was the head of the rec department. He actually called me, and I didn't expect it at all. You know, my team grabbing second place, I would think, you know, the first place coach would get to coach the All-Stars. But he called me, and um, he asked me if I would do it. And, of course, I said yes. You know, it would be an honor for me to coach those girls. So, you know, the All-Star team was a lot different. They're so talented, so many talented girls on that team, you know. And that puts me in a tough spot, you know, picking who am I, who am I going to play when, you know, and who's going to play what position. Because there's some girls on there that were all point guards that had to play a different position for me because we had so many different people like on our team that could play so many different positions. And I just think all my girls just handled it so well, and they all just played so hard, and it was just a great experience. And then you went to a, you you won the area, and yes. then you got to go to Atlanta, um, playing teams around the state, you know seeing the competition, how, do, how does Rome fare for other teams around the area? Right. Did well, you finish second? Yes, we did. Um, the district, I would say district was, you know, tough in itself. We won our district by three points, and we almost had to go, in, we almost had to go into overtime, and I feel like the state competition was a whole lot different. We walked in there, and we saw the teams playing before we played, and we were like, oh, my gosh, this is a totally different game. The refs were different. It was more aggressive. Like, our girls could – we're not used to being able to be that aggressive because, you know, like in reg ball, they would call so many fouls, and up there they were just letting them play, which was good for our girls, but it was just different, and we came out there the first game, and we absolutely dominated, and we dominated a team 30-something to four. So I think after we won that first game, our girls just gained a lot of confidence, and we could roll into Saturday with, you know, a lot of confidence that they needed to do the job well for second place. Why did you personally get into coaching? Personally... Let's see, I love the game of basketball, and I also coach soccer, and I just feel like it was just my time just to give back, and I feel like there's so many rec coaches, because I played rec ball too, I grew up here in Rome, and I felt like it was my turn to give back to those girls and to the program that just provided me with so much knowledge about the game, and I don't think that I could, you know, be standing here today being an, the accomplished player that I was in high school and some in college without, you know, the rec department and without all those rec teams, so I feel like Maybe it was my turn to give back to some of the girls that wouldn't, you know, wouldn't have a coach with this much experience playing ball. And I feel like I was able to give them an extra, you know, add into their game that maybe other co coaches wouldn't be able to do. What's next for you? What What are your long-term goals? Um, well, I'm studying um, early childhood education at Shorter, so I want to be a teacher. And I definitely want to coach. I haven't really decided, you know, what age group, but I definitely want to keep I'm coaching rep ball, and I definitely want to keep coaching middle school. So we'll see. We'll see what turns out. What is it about Roman Floyd County that 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 you stayed here after graduation, <laughs> and you're giving back to the community at such a young age? I just love Rome, and I feel like 
you know, when I do graduate from Shorter in May 2014, I, I do want to stay in Rome. I just feel like everybody in Rome is just so close-knit, and I feel like this is just my home. I just don't see me going anywhere else, and I just love all the girls here. I love the parents here, and, you know, Rome is just a great place to be.